In this lesson, we're going to provide you with some of the need to know information uh, when it comes to rational functions and uh, determining the location of holes and the equations of asymptotes. First thing you want to do is analyze holes and vertical asymptotes together by considering zeros of the denominator. Okay? So, here's what you do. You factor the numerator and denominator from the original expression for f of x, then simplify by crossing out like factors. If x minus a is a factor of the denominator and it's still in the denominator after you cross out the like terms, then there's a vertical asymptote at x equals a. If x minus a is a factor of the denominator but it's no longer present after you reduce by crossing the like terms, then there's a hole at x equals a. And we can determine the y-coordinate of the hole by plugging an x value of a into the simplified expression of the rational function. In other words, what we have left after we cross out. All right, then we analyze our horizontal and oblique asymptotes together. So we analyze our holes and vertical asymptotes together, and our, then we analyze our horizontal and oblique asymptotes together. And the way we do this is comparing the degree of the numerator with the degree of the denominator. So what we do is we factor the numerator and denominator, like we did earlier, from the original expression for f of x. Then we simplify by crossing out like factors. If all the terms with x have been cancelled out of the denominator, then there are no horizontal asymptotes or oblique asymptotes. Okay. On the other hand, if there are still one or more terms with x in the denominator, then the degree of the numer if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at y equals lead coefficient of the numerator over lead coefficient of the denominator. And if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there will be a uh, an oblique asymptote and no horizontal asymptote. We can determine the equation of the oblique asymptote from the first part of the division statement. We'll do a few examples right now to show you these various scenarios. But one thing to keep in mind is you can have numerous holes and or numerous vertical asymptotes in a rational function. But the ones that we're doing, the, the functions that we're doing here, we are only going to have one horizontal or oblique asymptote. If we have a horizontal asymptote, we won't have an oblique. And if we have an oblique, we won't have a horizontal. There will only be a total of one or maybe zero because maybe all of our x terms will cancel out of the denominator and we won't have any horizontal or oblique. So we'll have at most one there, but the vertical asymptotes in the holes could have multiple. So here's a good example. Let's determine the equation of any asymptotes and locations of any holes of this fun uh, rational function right here. Well, we begin by factoring a 2 out of the numerator and then trinomial factoring. And after we do that, we say to ourselves, hey, we can actually cross out these 3x minus 4s. And when we do that, we're left with this expression right here. But we know from restrictions of in uh, rational expressions in grade 11, x can't equal 4 thirds. Well, from what we said earlier in this video, we know we're going to have a hole at x equals 4 thirds because 3x minus 4, uh, when we let 3x minus 4 equal 0, we get 4 thirds. 3x minus 4 was a factor of the denominator, but after crossing out, it was no longer in the denominator. That tells me hole. Okay, now we can then plug the x value of 4 thirds into the expression, the simplified expression, not the original expression. If we plug it into the original expression, we'll get something undefined. But if we plug it into the simplified version, we'll get the y-coordinate of the whole. Okay? And then when we do that, when we take x equals 4 thirds and plug it into 2 times 2x plus 3, we get 34 thirds. And that tells us that there's a whole at 4 thirds comma 34 thirds. There are no horizontal or oblique asymptotes because after we simplified, there were no more x terms in the denominator. Okay, now how about if we want to determine the equations of asymptotes or locations of holes of this function? Well, again, what we want to do is factor. Um, after we factor the numerator and denominator, we see that we can cross out 3x minus 1. So what happened is we saw that 3x minus 1 was a factor of the denominator, but then after factoring and canceling out, it was no longer present. That tells us we have a hole. However, x plus 9 
was a factor of the denominator, but after canceling it out, it remained in the denominator. That tells us vertical asymptote. Okay? So vertical asymptote at x equals negative 9, because plug in x equals negative 9 into the simplified, makes the denominator equal 0. There's a hole at x equals 1 over 3, because plug in x equals 1 over 3 to the original function gives 0 over 0, but plugging it into the simplified gives a real number value. That's another way of saying what we said earlier uh, of how to test whether there's a hole. We can determine the location of the hole by plugging in x equals 1 third to the simplified version and finding the y value. So when we do plug x equals 1 third into this simplified version, we end up getting a y value of negative 11 over 14, meaning the location of the hole is 1 third comma negative 11 over 14. Okay, now, so we know where our vertical asymptote is, we know where our hole is, let's see if we can figure out where our, uh, if we have a horizontal or oblique asymptote. Well, after we simplified, we still had degree 1 over degree 1. So there were still x's in the denominator, which means this is not a case of there not being a horizontal or oblique. There's something here. So uh, which one is it? Well, what we do is we check degrees. And if you look at that part that I uh, circled on the bottom left, we see the numerator's degree 1 and the denominator's degree 1. So that tells us that we're going to have a horizontal asymptote because they're both equal. Uh, and the y value of the horizontal asymptote will be lead coefficient of numerator over lead coefficient of denominator. Well, look back at that circled part on the bottom left. The lead coefficient of the numerator is 1. The lead coefficient of, uh, sorry, is 2. The lead coefficient of the denominator is 1. 2 over 1 is equal to 2. There's a horizontal asymptote of y equals 2. All right, let's try this question. We've got x plus 3 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. Well, what we do is we factor and simplify. When we do that, we see that we have x plus 3s that cancel out. That means that x plus 3 was a factor of the denominator. But then after simplifying, it wasn't there anymore. That tells me whole at x equals negative 3. Um, looking at the denominator, though, x plus 4 was originally a factor of the denominator. After, uh, after canceling things out, it's still there. That tells me vertical asymptote. Okay. Now, we also know that we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 because after we simplified, we had x's in the denominator. And we had a small degree over a big degree. The numerator, the portion that I just circled, that, that numerator is degree 0. There's no x there. The denominator is degree 1. And when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. And as mentioned earlier, vertical asymptote at x equals negative 4. And also, as mentioned earlier, whole at x equals negative 3. Well, we should know the y-coordinate of that hole. Now, this way of uh, expressing the uh, test for whether there's a hole is the same as what we said earlier. Just another you know, way of saying it. So we're going to determine the uh, y-coordinate by plugging x equals negative 3 into this simplified version. When we do plug x equals negative 3 there, we get uh, 1 over 1. In other words, 1. So we have a hole at negative 3, 1. And finally, uh, we're going to uh, do our analyses on this question right here. Well, we try to factor the numerator, and we realize it doesn't factor. So the x plus 4 in the denominator doesn't cancel out. In other words, it's a factor of the denominator. And after you know simplifying by crossing out, which we weren't able to do, it's still a factor of the denominator, i.e. vertical asymptote. Boom. So there are no holes here because the only value of x making the denominator equal to 0 is negative 4. Okay, so now let's look at the degrees of the numerator and denominator. We've got degree 2 over degree 1 because we have x squared uh, expression. Oh, we have a quadratic over a linear. So it's degree 2 over degree 1, meaning we have an oblique asymptote and no horizontal asymptotes. Let's get the equation of the oblique asymptotes. We're going to do that by finding the division statement. And we end up with x plus 2 plus 5 over x plus 4. Well, that means 
y equals x plus 2 is the oblique asymptote. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that presentation.